Dear viewers, in this video, we will understand about the statistical concept percentile. So in one of our previous videos, we have explained about percentage. Some responses we received for that video is to explain the difference between percentage and percentile. So to start with, we will understand what is percentile means. Percentile is the value below which the percentage of your data falls. In other words, it is a ranking system to represent what is the rank of a particular data point among the data set. So there is a data set with a certain number of data points. So what is the rank of a particular value in the data set? As such, the definition might sound a bit, bit complicated, but when we take see that with the help of an example, you will understand it better. Let us say in a company, there are 200 system managers. And in this company, let's say there are 10 open positions for managers which the company decided to fill with the 200 assistant managers by conducting an online exam. So the online exam is conducted for 50 marks. So all these 200 assistant managers have taken this online exam and the top 10 rank holders or the top 10 scorers will be uh, promoted to managing position. That is the uh, announcement from the organization. So here, let us say Vinod also participated in this exam. And let's say Vinod has, let's say Vinod's employee number is B00789. And Vinod scored 45 marks out of it. So if you say 45 divided by 50 multiplied by 100, this is the percentage score of Vinod. Or in other words, the exam was conducted for 45 marks, sorry, for 50 marks. And Vinod has secured 45 right answers out of 50 marks. So if his performance need to be converted to a scale of 100, then he will score 90 marks. So similarly, there is, let's say, someone else who has scored 50 marks out of 50. Someone else also scored 50 marks out of 50. So they too are the toppers, let's assume. And some other person has scored 49 out of 50. So we know the scored 45 out of 50. And let's say there are so many other people, all 200 has taken the exam. And let's say somebody who scored the minimum Right, so the person who has scored the least marks, let's say 36 out of 50. So this is how the mark list is. The topmost scorer, there are two people. The bottommost scorer has scored 36, and we know the scored 45, and we know the somewhere in between. Now, if you want to convert each of their performances to a scale of you know 100, so you can simply say this value divided by total marks. And then you can convert it to a scale of percentage. So this is how we convert percentage. So just for the calculation convenience, I'm creating this. Up. So here you will see the percentage performance. However, this percentage performance is not enough for us to do this uh, percentile calculation or to decide who will get promoted. Now, what I want to understand is this is totally 200 data points because we said 200 people. So in between, there are people here and in between, there are people here. So totally, this data set consists of 200 data points. So in this 200 data point, this performance will be the 200 from the top. That means above this performance, there is not even a single data point. And what will be the performance of the second person? He also secured 50 out of 50. So he will also be considered as 200. The next person will not be considered 199. Instead, he will be 198. Why? There are two people above this performance. Similarly, let us say the rank secured by Vinod out of 200 is 160, and the bottom most performer will be 1. Why 1? Above him, there are 199 data points. So this is how this rank is being decided. The data is arranged in descending order. So the topmost performer will be the 200th performer because above him, there is nobody. We know this 160, that means above him, there are 40 people and below him, there are 159. The bottom most performer will be one because there is nobody below him and there are 199 people above. So how do you calculate percentage? This is percentage, right? What you see here is percentage, but we are going to calculate percentile. 
let's see how to calculate percentile right so as you see the definition here percentile is the value below which a percentage of the data falls right so here the total number Here the total number of data points is 200 and this resource has secured the 200th rank. So this will be 200 divided by 200. So what we are doing in the earlier case, we divided the marks obtained by this resource, this person against the total marks and then multiplied with 100. In this case, we are actually dividing the rank secured. It's not the mark, it is the rank secured by this resource against the total number of participants, right? So for this resource, the percentile will be one. That means 100th percentile. So the 100th percentile. So if I copy paste this again, the second resource also got 100th percentile. The third resource got 99th percentile. So what is 99th percentile? Out of the total population, one percentage of the data point is above this mark and 98 percentage of data point are below this. One percentage of data point is nothing but two data points. Why? Because 200 people have competed in this exam. Similarly, if I copy and paste it here, then you will find we know the secure 80th percentile. Why? In the 200 participant exam, we know the secure 160th rank from the top. So there are 40 people above we know, and there are 159 people below we know. So that is why 80th percentile means there are 20 percentage of the population above, you know, 20 percentage of the data points. So here 200 is the total number of data points. 20 percentage of 200 will be 40 data points. So there are 40 data points above this number and um, 159 data points below this number. And as you reach towards the last person, so this is the percentile he would have secured, right? He's, there is nobody below him and 100 and 99 data points above you. So this is the difference between percentage and percentile terms. Percentage will give you the absolute performance converted to a scale of 100, whereas percentile will give you the rank in a scale of 100. Your original population can be 100, 200, 30, 50, whatever be the original population. In that, what is the rank that you have secured? So to make it easy for you to understand, I have taken another example. So here I have the uh, salary of a team, right? So let us say there are 30 members in a team and I have taken the salary of a team here, right? So this is the annual CTC in lakh rupees, right? In INR rupees. And I have taken the salary of people. Uh, so this is this data is taken in uh, alphabetical order. So the resource name and their alphabetical order based on that I have taken the salary, right? Now in this, I if, if at all I wanted to know what will be the... Um, 80th percentile of salary. That means above that particular value, there are 20 percentage of the data points and below, below that there are 79 percentage of data points, right? So here I can use an Excel function is equal to percentile. And then I can select the entire data. I can put a comma. And then after comma, I can put any value between 0 to 1. I can put I can put any value between 0 to 1. So if I put 1, I wanted to understand the 100th percentile. If I put 50, I wanted to understand 50th percentile. If I put 0.9, I wanted to understand 90th percentile. So I'm going to say 0.9. So when I say 0.9, so it will give it will return the 90th percentile. So in this set of 30 people, the salary of the 90th percentile is 7.91 lakhs. So that means above this, there is 10 percentage of population and below this, there is uh, 89 percentage of population. So this is how the percentile formula works. The next one, the other formula is, let us say my salary here is 5 lakhs, right? So then what I can do is I can use another formula, which will be percentile rank. And I would say percentile rank and I will select this data and then I'll put a comma and after comma let us say my salary is 5.5 lakhs so if I am drawing 5.5 lakhs as my salary in this 30 member group what is my rank so if I see this my rank is 28th percentile 0.28 is 
28th percentile. So this is how we will understand. Sorry, not 28th percentile. This will be 0 0.028. So this is uh, two percentile. So I am at the bottom most of the uh, category when it comes to the CTC. So this is all the percentile and percentile rank formulas work. Friends, I hope you understood the difference between percentage, percentile, and in Excel, how this percentile formula and percentile rank formula works. So I hope this video was useful. So please subscribe to our channel for more videos on statistical concepts and how these statistical concepts can be used in quality management uh, as a function. And we are also planning to upload more videos. Thank you for your time. Thanks for viewing our videos.